This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Actually, my very nosy co-worker, Tina. Want to know how nosy she is? Well, her nosiness caused loads of problems doing simple things like grocery shopping. She was always bumping into people while she was busy looking in other customers' shopping baskets. <laughs> Tina and I worked at one of those big downtown hotels. It was great for Tina. Every day there were new visitors and new rooms with new luggage and new things that she could peek into. Now, don't get me wrong, she was very good at her job. Almost as good as I am at mine. Have you ever stayed in a hotel, kicked your shoes off, undressed and just left everything where it fell? Then you come back and find your clothes folded and put away, your bathroom stuff rearranged according to liquid volume and height, and your shoes are neatly lined up according to color. They even look like they were polished. Well, you've probably just been teamed. She was very conscientious. A model maid. She made great tips, too. And why not? When you've just spent the morning snooping around in everyone's luggage, toiletries and drawers, it's a good idea to straighten up so no one notices what you've been up to. Tina worked at the hotel for a long, long time and was never caught. There were some very close calls, mind you. Like the time she was snooping through a lady guest's cosmetic bag and saw a shade of lipstick that she thought might suit her eye color. While she was borrowing a thick application of the stuff, the lady unexpectedly came back to the room. Tina was just quick enough to snap the lady's purse shut. The lady excused herself. Don't let me get in your way, I just forgot my purse. Tina turned around and said, no problem, with the biggest, freshest, reddest lips you've ever seen. You'd think the lady would have noticed, but she just complimented Tina and the shade of her lipstick and left. <sighs> then one fateful day, Tina learned a big lesson. It was a particularly busy weekend. There was a home furnishings trade show in town, and the hotel was full of furniture folk. Tina was cleaning up one of the delegates' rooms. Once Tina was sure the coast was clear, she started into her routine. She looked in the drawers, then into the suitcase. Nothing there either. She headed to her never-miss area. The bathroom. Sure enough, she hit pay dirt. She eyed a group of identical exotic looking spray cans. The label on them read, Super Strength with Conditioner. She picked one up, shook it, sprayed a little in the air, sniffed, then said, Hmm, just what I needed. You see, Tina always had problem hair. She positioned herself in front of the mirror, took careful aim, and sprayed with all her might. Tina made sure she covered the top, back, and sides thoroughly. She stood back to admire her work, when suddenly her scalp started to feel funny. She noticed that the spray had begun to foam and bubble up on her hair. She figured it must be the conditioner part of the spray. Then the bubbles got bigger and bigger, bursting forth little poofs of warm gas. Tina wasn't worried, though, because sure enough, her patience paid off. Within a minute or two, everything had died down and her hair was finally set in place. Wow, this stuff really works, she uttered as she marveled at the label once again. She was just about to turn the label around to see what was in the miraculous stuff when the door opened. She was caught can in hand. Fortunately, the guest was in such a hurry he hardly noticed. Just grabbed the can from Tina's hands with a friendly, thank you. Tina just smiled knowing she had dodged another bullet. As the guest was leaving, he yelled back, What kind of furniture stripper would I be without my samples? Uh -huh. Tina was frozen in her tracks. Sheer terror overcame her. She ran to the counter, picked up one of the other cans, quickly turned it over and read clearly the rest of the label. Super strength with conditioner. Paint stripper. She looked in the mirror, slowly tapped her rock-hard hair. It shattered into a million pieces, leaving her totally bald. It's a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine, Tina, who has become a fanatic about privacy. When she finds out someone is snooping, she flips her wig.